Be overdosing me. Thank you for sharing. Spray me some good old Miss Dior. I gotta wash my hands. I would just say do it in here and say we're pretending like this is a room because there's no space. <laughs> The girl walks in from outside smoking. Mind you, I didn't even know she was a nurse. Walk in, go over to the nursing cart. Y'all think this hoe asked me, how you doing? Nothing, nothing, nothing. She looked at me and said, you ready to count? I said, yeah. Uh, can, you know, at the report or whatever. She says, honey, if you want to report, you should have been here at 7. Y'all, I kid y'all not, it was 7.07. So mind you, I you do not need AdSense to make money on social media or you don't need the creator fund from TikTok or you don't need none of it. Like you literally can start making money when you, I'm, a, I'm being dramatic. Give me, you get a sale. But what I'm saying is you can start making money before these platforms notice you and say, oh, she has this amount of followers, this amount of watch time. And he tried to rob the like local corner store with a butter knife. What's poppin', what's good, what's poppin', what's good? What is up, beautiful, beautiful colleagues? It's your girl, Tasha, and a welcome back. I call you guys my colleagues, because we're gonna get to a million together. You gonna do it your way, I'm gonna do it my way, but either way, it's gonna be done, okay? I hope I can help you heal, laugh, and get to the bag, honey. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> Why you have to say it like that? What? You like, Because that's how I say it, again. Um, yeah, so what am I doing? So today my son, he has two, he, two basketball games. So they have to win the last basketball game in order to make it to the championship. They won, they made it to the championship. So I just had to run to my client's house because once again, one of the employees could not, girl, I don't know. She had to run home or something. I don't know, but this is what I'm talking about. This is what it comes to. This is what I be talking about. When you want to open a business <clears throat> that requires employees, just be mindful. Like, it's always something. It's it's literally always something. Thank God it was a break in between the championship game, so I had time to run over there. But that's what I just did, um, sit with her while she ran home, girl. Now I'm headed back to the championship game, and then he has football practice, so it's a busy day. I don't know how much I'm going to record. I want a new ball bag, so probably that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to go to the game, go get a new ball bag. I don't like the color pink, but for some reason, the pink is given with the ball bag. It's given, okay? So I'm probably, I don't like like girly colors or nothing, but I'm probably about to just get a pink ball bag. Bria, why are you? Y'all see my niece trying her best to be a camera? <laughs> Do you ever see me with pink? Anything pink? Yes. What have you seen me with pink? Child, I'm recording off my phone because I forgot to bring my camera. So if the quality ain't all the way there, but I forgot where I was just at because my son just called. What was I saying? You were saying, you was talking about. How you don't like pink? Oh. You don't like the girly colors and stuff. Yeah. But yeah, so um, headed back to the game right now to go see the championship game. Um, I'm going to probably drop him off at football and run up to the mall to get my bog bag. But I actually probably stay because this is their first practice of the year. So I kind of want to see what's going on. But yeah, go get a bog bag. And then, honey, I got to watch Barrington Medicine, the reunion. Because the, the reunion, <laughs> the reunion last week was treacherous. Okay? The reunion was treacherous. Today, well, they better get themselves together. Or I don't know if I'm watching. I talked about it. I talked about it in the last vlog. They need to get it the, together. Because, honey, the reunion is, was treacherous. Okay? But, yeah, that's what I'm doing, you all. I'll talk to y'all in a second. You know, you can't pull him up for them so they won't have six people. Oh, is that what happened? Yeah. Of course we would. I didn't know what happened. I'm like, girl, it's a long story for short, coaches. He said, girl, that is not the fight, like always. But he said it was because I guess they had six people on. So my son plays on winning team, so they always try to get the other team the benefit of the doubt. So long story short, I guess they basically saying that the other team 
had six people on the court and the ref was pulling them out for them, but that's not, you know, you're supposed to call it tech, technical and let the ref, you know, I mean, do it themselves. But it was a good game. I mean, it's still going. It's 11 to 8, girl. I ain't got time for this closeness. <laughs> I ain't got time for this closeness, Jesus. I ain't got time for this closeness. Let me give it my, my heart. What's back. up, y'all? And welcome to a new day. So I'm in the kitchen, as you can see. I think I got my blurred background on. But I'm in the kitchen, as y'all can see. And I am... Honey, wash the dishes, cleaning. The kids came over yesterday. It was a long day, child. They did not win the championship. <laughs> they did not win the championship, y'all. He was so upset. So they gave him a silver medal. And I'm like, um, you know, here's your silver medal, y'all. He was so upset. He would not keep that silver medal. I'm like, dude, you gotta learn how to lose too, okay? Like, you're not going to win everything. He looked at me and told me, Mommy, I want a scholarship by the age, by eighth grade. Silver is unacceptable. I said, Maybe you're right. We, we struggle for greatness, okay? But they did terrible. I ain't going to lie. Like, you know how some parents be like, Oh, he's crying. This and that girl. Baby, listen. If you did terrible... I'm not about to sit there and baby you. Because maybe you should have did your job and you'll be sitting here motherfucking crying. Okay? I'm going to tell you good job. Well, no, I'm going to tell you work harder next time. Don't be too hard on yourself. But I'm not one of them that's going to lie. I'm, I am not a parent that's going to sit there and lie like, but you did so good. No, you did really bad, actually. I give it 100 with my son. When he does phenomenal, I tell him phenomenal job, baby. Well, he don't do his job. You ain't do your job, so don't cry. That's life. That's real life. You can't expect certain outcomes if you ain't do what you were supposed to do. Right? That's real life. I be feeling like these kids get caught up too much. But that's my baby. But for the most part, child, if you ain't do your job, I don't want to hear it. Okay? But anyways, like I said, I'm just washing some dishes, about to eat something. Chill out for the rest of the day. I really don't have anything planned. I have, like, absolutely. I don't really have much planned at all. But I, so I noticed y'all really like that style video, like the vlog style video where I sit there and I do talk about like, you know, something in the industry or whatever. So I think each video, I'm going to make sure that I give y'all a, a like content inside of the video. So some of the content I'm going to give you for this video is I can't, I was watching the video and nurses were just like, literally sh like where nurses is struggling, broke and everything, having to work seven days a week to make ends meet. Baby, let me explain something to you. There are so many side hustles that you can get on and what I'm going to tell you today, this is a side hustle that you can start today as a nurse. Really, you can start today as anybody. Y'all, the TikTok shop, listen, I don't want to hear, oh, I'm not good on social media. That's another thing. Why do y'all keep talking about y'all want to be influencers but keep talking about you're not good on social media? So become good. Like, <laughs> and how do you become good at something? Practice. And how do you practice? You show up and do it. I am not, I know y'all think like, oh, but you're good at recording. Girl, you know how many times it takes? Like, it was some people that say they record their video straight through, no edit. Girl, I edit. Because I still stutter. Y'all hear me? Sometimes my thoughts all over the place. Sometimes I don't say the word right words. I cuss too much for one. So I actually edit. <laughs> Use the tools to help you out, Buki. Okay? So TikTok Shop is literally a hustle. So TikTok Shop and affiliate marketing. We're just going to tie them all in together. So, Because I feel like TikTok Shop is technically affiliate marketing. Affiliate marketing, and I've said this so many times on this channel, is basically if y'all was like, dang, I like the quality of this video. What camera are you using? I say, oh, I'm using this camera. Here's the link. But I got the specific link from the place that sells the camera, and they tell me, hey, if you sell this camera, you get a certain percentage. Y'all, that's how simple affiliate marketing is. Start uploading content. If you are somebody that don't want to be in the camera, do you know how many YouTube... This is, I feel like, the problem that people... The mistakes that people make when they want to become a content creator. The first mistake that they make is they really... They depend on the creator's fund or AdSense and stuff like that. Girl, I have made more money from AdSense. Listen... 
You do not need AdSense to make money on social media or you don't need the creator fund from TikTok or you don't need none of it. Like you literally can start making money when you, I'm, a, I'm being dramatic. Give me, you get a sale, but what I'm saying is you can start making money before these platforms notice you and say, oh, she has this amount of followers, this amount of watch time. Let me go ahead and make her, um, what's the name? So let's really focus on affiliate marketing. I said the TikTok shop. I mean, TikTok shop is kind of into it, but the thing about TikTok shop is you have to have a certain amount of followers and whatever. But what I'm saying to you is, guys, is like, for an example, sign up for the Amazon affiliate program. I'm not saying you about to become super rich, but you can start making some extra income. And when you, like, say if you made $500 a month from the Amazon, $500 from your TikTok creator fund, $500 from your YouTube creator fund, $500 from, um... Uh, and, and, like 500 from selling digital products or like that's two thousand dollars extra a month right there so another tip stop just thinking putting everything in one basket like oh this is as you can see i have multiple 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 streams of income i'm not saying spread yourself thin but i am saying there are multiple ways to get to the bag and affiliate marketing is one and also don't get down on yourself because you're like dang i'm only making 250 a month okay get another side hustle where there you can make 250 from that way and then add on to that so boom we kind of go to affiliate marketing i've explained what affiliate marketing is so how do you do it in your industry if you are an esthetician right now i know a lot of estheticians follow me right now every single thing in your shop you should find an affiliate link for on Amazon. Sign up for Amazon affiliates. You can create a simple reel. A simple cool reel. Like day in the lives. Or you can just do a review on the product. Girl, let me tell you. Record you. Let's say you wax. Record you wax it. Girl, let me tell y'all about this hidden secret that I have. This is a voiceover I'm doing. Girl, let me tell y'all about this hidden secret I have. I done got the most bomb wax that you want to try. And I got it for... Point, and I got it for $13.99.99 off Amazon, child. Okay? Shh, everybody don't need to know about this. So I'm just telling y'all. I'm just telling y'all. But girl, look how silky it goes on. Look how... Do you see how I'm bringing personality to it? Okay, boom. So when it gets pushed to the estheticians or people that use wax or whatever, they buy it. You get a commission. You do not... It, has, it doesn't have to be anything crazy, y'all. What I'm saying is... There are different ways to make money. You just got to utilize the different platforms, sweetie. Okay? Utilize them. Focus on what? I'm just now starting to try to build my TikToks and Instagrams. Okay? So focus on one. Because YouTube is built. So focus on one and then move. I want so much for you. If you feel like I'll be yelling at you through the camera, I'm sorry. I just want so much for you. Subscribe to my Instagram or whatever. But anyways, if you want stuff like this more in detail, it is Enrich Nurse Gang. If that's my membership club, okay? You do not have to be a nurse to join. I think I already explained it. It's going to be Enrich Nurse Gang. Okay, boom. But like I said, y'all, boom. Set up an Instagram. Set up a Facebook. Set up a TikTok. Set up a YouTube where you only do reels. And the reason why I just say that is because that's short content. Create uh, nurses. I guarantee you, from the stuff that you just packed to go to work... Some of the stuff you use is for work. You can do an, a nurse essential. Another nurse essential. This is my voiceover. <laughs> another essential need for nurses. Okay, y'all, I found this cute lunchbox. In this lunchbox, look at all the compartments. I was able to fit my snacks, drinks, uh, energy drink, okay? Because you know the night girls need that. Just be you. Be fun. You know what I'm saying? And then the girls go buy it. Your You are your content. You are your content. Okay, stop thinking of content. And I know this sounds crazy because y'all literally, I was trying to figure out what the post of the past year and a half. And my sister literally kept saying, bro, you're the content. You are your content. But that wasn't registering in my head until like a month ago. I'm the content. What you do on a daily basis, you're the content. Stop thinking that nobody's interested in what you do. Stop thinking that it's not interested. Stop thinking that nobody's going to watch you. Everybody has their tribe. Somebody is going to watch you. Somebody is interested in what you do. Somebody is going to look up to you. Somebody is going to be obsessed with your content. You are for somebody. I promise you, you are for somebody. And don't let numbers discourage you. Do not let, listen, y'all. 
I made 10K on YouTube before I was even monetized. And that's because I was selling digital products and stuff like that, okay? Do not let numbers fool you. Think about this. If you had just 100 subscribers and only 10%, only 10% of your subscribers bought an ebook from you monthly, 10% is 10 people. Let's say your ebook was $50. Y'all know I can't count. 50 cash true. 50, 100, 200, 300, 400. That, that's, 500, that's $500 a month extra for 10 people buying a $50 ebook. And yes, that'll be a rich nurse gig. <laughs> but do y'all get what I'm saying? I'm trying to like really, I'm trying to break it down to y'all. If you get what I'm picking, listen, if you're picking up what I'm putting down, go ahead and put a fire in the comments. If you're picking up what I'm putting down, Put a fire in the comments. I'm just trying to motivate you. When I said I'm trying to help you heal and get to the bag, we into this journey together, okay? <laughs> but let me finish watching these dishes cooking so I can go sit down. Chill. <laughs> I don't know, you look skinny. Step. <laughs> I just went with Matthew. Okay, turn. Okay. I'll let you know. What's up, y'all? It's a new day, and I'm in the same spot. I'm cooking, okay? Y'all saw I'm frying some fish around here, okay? We was at Jungle Gym, girl. I forgot to get some daggone uh, seasoning, because one day I had ran out of seasoning, and I really did not feel like going to like the store store, so I went to Walgreens. That was those seasons I was using, but... I still got Old Bay, so whatever. It didn't have to work. But y'all saw earlier what I did. I went to give uh, my sister. It was actually my sister that got the shot. Look, I'm going to try to get people to let me record. But for some reason, people are so finicky when it comes to recording um, weight loss medicine. Even though they're not in it, girl. I don't know. I guess it's kind of a secret like when people be getting BBLs. Okay? Honey, I don't know. But that's what I was doing earlier. My sister just wanted, uh, um, uh, uh, she just wanted her shot. Girl, I ain't really did nothing today, okay? I literally slept all today. Like, not even joking. I slept all of today. Then on top of sleeping, I woke up, <laughs> went to the spa, did her, did somebody body contouring, went to the grocery store, and came here and started cooking. That's all I did today. <laughs> But today is not a too busy day. Tomorrow's not going to be a busy day either. So I don't know. I might pick up. I think I'm going to actually do a little bit of shopping tomorrow. I don't know. I want to get some candles. I want. There's a lot of things that I just want to get from around the house. So I might record that if that's what I plan on doing. But the day after, I do have a lot of stuff to do. Like, my Aria has to go record her skills video because she's taking her trainer-trainer course. And that's the last step that we need for her to get her certificate. 
So she got to go um, record, record a skills video. Y'all saw my band and stuff. It's not up yet. So this is, I know this girl that has an STNA school. She said we can come Thursday and record. So once she upload that, then she going to get her certificate. Then literally, we about there, girl. It's, it's, it's the crazy part, y'all. You would think that it's such a long process. Like when I first signed up, like, okay. When I first wanted to learn how to be do start an STNA school, I paid thousands. Like I literally flew somewhere, and when I say I paid thousands to figure out how to do this, and then after I really got into it, I'm like, of course it's worth the knowledge and stuff, but I'm like, it wasn't worth no eight ten thousand dollars that I paid, and that's why I created Rich Nurse Gang. Yes, I'm gonna keep plugging it, okay? Girl, that's why I created Rich Nurse Gang. You gonna find out where you can get. Personalized business scrubs. Below, <laughs> you you gonna find out how to do your STNA school for the love. Okay, girl, cause we trying to mix the coins, not give away the coins. When I cook my fish, I try to make sure that the entire thing is covered. The reason why I do that, cause I don't be trying to flip it all like that. Girl, with the jungle gems, I don't know if y'all know about jungle gems, but they got these big pieces of tilapia. I'm like Jesus. And I know people don't feel tilapia because they be like, they said it's not a real fish. Or basically it's human made, but they also said that broccoli was. I honestly don't eat tilapia often, but my son really likes it. And he hasn't had it in a minute. So I said that'll be something quick. Just whip up some French style green beans, honey. Because I don't feel like cooking and we need to eat something in the house tonight and not out to eat every night. Okay? <sighs> so, y'all know what's so crazy? Every time something go viral, I hate to keep bringing up Rich Nurse Day, but this is important. Y'all, viral content is so important to your business because all it takes is for one thing to go viral for you to sell out. Like, it is so crazy to me that the Parmesan lamb chops literally, literally go viral every time this year and they sell out. And they got, somebody caught on to them like two, three years ago. Before that, when I say me and my friends used to go in that, and, and, and what's the name, and tear it down, we used to go tear it down. Now you go, they running out and all that because y'all made it go viral. <laughs> but that just made me think like, bro, when something go viral, it is so crazy how just the effect. Uh, like, it's just so crazy. But yeah, y'all, let me go ahead. Now, let me just go ahead and finish cooking. I just wanted to pop in and say, hey, tell you you're beautiful. Tell you that you are awesome. Tell you that you are God's greatest creation, okay? Um, yeah, and I'm going to probably see y'all tomorrow, honestly, because I ain't about to do nothing else today. Welcome to a new day. I told y'all I wasn't going to pick up the camera to yesterday because it wasn't nothing going on. Like, nothing at all. Today, though... I'm about to go with my RN. I'm literally out of claws. Oh my God. Today I gotta go. Okay, so basically my RN is almost done with her trainer trainer course. So I have to go. Well, she can really do this by herself, but I'ma just go with her. She needs to take a um video of her doing the skills. y'all that's what i would be talking about when i be saying yes this is the clean towel don't judge i ran out of cloths and i don't want to use girl this is the closest thing in my laundry this towel but um girl i i be feeling like sometimes i be feeling like I hate when somebody owns the like own a business and you like have to force them to like want to own their business. I don't know. Like for an example for the stuff on my RN. When I say we've been sent her stuff in, we been the products I'm using is um a lady that's local in my city. She has really good products. It's called Skin by Brown Lee. She is I think she's amazing. You can buy her products at Target. But anyways, so she she really is like custom. Like you, like a lot of, I've been looking for somebody like her for a long time. A lot of people, when you come in, they just want to give you a facial or whatever. Baby, before you even sit in her chair, you got to use her products for two months. 
a lot of people be missing out because they think it's a scam. But like she said, she got to make sure that your face is treated and what to do with your product. It's just like when you're doing a chemical peel, you're supposed to prep. Well, some of them, some of them you don't. But I don't know. I like what it's doing to my face. I My face is honestly really clear for the most part. I just want it super clear. <laughs> okay. Um, it look good though. This lighting, I told y'all to light with this camera. I don't know, but so it looks good. It look real good. But cause y'all know in the last, or was it the vlog before last? I told y'all about the chemical peel I had got. I'm gonna talk louder cause this water on. I don't want to seem like I'm screaming at y'all. But so I have been reaching out to this place literally for the past two weeks. Like, okay, did y'all get everything? Did y'all get everything? I kept like, you know, so they like, they, they responded one time like, thank you for sending all of her stuff over. So I'm like, okay, are we good to go for the start of class? Are we good to go for the start of class? They never responded. Like literally they're, they're not responding. So I'm like, I'm just at a place in life. I told y'all I'm not stressing nothing. So it was like, if she get into this class, she do. I mean, I paid. So I knew eventually they was going to have to let her in, but I just wasn't stressing it. So the day of the no, the Saturday before the class, the people email me and they literally say, "Hey, we don't see the deposit for the class or whatever." So I'm like, "Okay." <laughs> I I screenshotted it, sent them the proof of the deposit, but I'm like, "What about all the other emails?" I, I emailed them back like, "Did you guys receive any of the other emails that I've been sending you for the past two weeks?" Y'all, do y'all not know I did not get a response? So, I'm like, what in the world? So, fast forward. The start of the class come. Now, I'm getting 10, 15 emails. Y'all, literally 10, 15 emails. Because this is like a course that she, she could do it online by herself. They just have to unlock it. So, y'all, I'm getting, like, 10, 15 emails, bro. I'm, like, so now they're asking, where's the remaining payment? I'm, like, uh, oh, they responded, finally, to all my emails. I'm a Texas. Sent the same email talking about, hey, we have a new point of contact, this and that, this and that. I'm, like, it's so strange that y'all, I ain't said this to them, but I'm just, like, y'all had a new point of contact, But y'all made sure to let that point of contact know to contact people and make sure they got their deposits. Like, what? A new point of contact or not. But the craziest part about the whole situation is, at, I don't know if the, uh, the, so the person that they said was no longer in point of contact, literally, after they emailed me, she emailed me and said, hey, this is so-and-so from, what's the name, about the information, uh, and was sending the information. I'm like... I just want to get this class done, child. But stuff like that just be so, like when you dealing with like um, state things or people that teach state the classes, like when you go to your trainer trainer course or send your RN or whatever the case may be, it just gets, you'll notice like, what is it with people trying to gatekeep because they know like you know that we need this certificate in order but you, you're lightweight trying to gatekeep and honestly this happened like i sent her to this class because it was online because the class that i took for myself it was in person and when i say this lady was hell like this lady it was almost like she did not want nobody to pass like y'all want to talk about gatekeeping and I'm like, why do you have a school specific to teaching people, training a trainer or teaching people how to teach these classes? If you're going to be weird and, 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 and like one of my, um, like the girl, one of the females that I talked to in my, one of the girls I talked to in my city, she has her own STNA school and everything. And we were just talking about it. She like, girl, she liked that with everybody. She like, girl, she sent away two of my students in tears because she was, just, she's a testing center too for STNA. I'm like, what is it about that false sense of power? But people even do it on in the workplace, like supervisors and stuff like that. What is that false sense of power where you feel like that you got so much power in your hand that you want to start being assholes to people? What is that? 
No, nah, I will say this place, they wasn't assholes. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying this place, they just, was. they just, it was like, basically like, well, shoot, y'all need this stuff, so y'all get it when y'all get it. Like, kind of. Like, when I say we didn't get all the information till the day of the class, and it's only a limited amount of trainer, trainer program, so it's not that easy to just be like, well, just pick up and go to another one. And this is something you absolutely need in order to even turn in your application. For STNA, not for the healthcare school itself. If you, you know, just a mess, y'all. But anywho, do y'all think that friends should hold like you? Do y'all think that friends should have standards? And what I mean by that is, for an example, like I'm at a place in my life where I feel like I, I, like at first I never had standards for my friends. And when I say standards, it mean like. We're still, um, I still don't require much from my friends, but whatever I require for you, I need you to be consistent. So I require consistency with my friends. So when I say consistency nowadays, like, and I'm talking about right now, I'm talking about men that I'm dating. When I say friends, I'm, what, what, cause I guess it becomes a blurred line. Cause I definitely am on the no ma low maintenance friend uh, bandwagon, right? But, I guess the line gets blurred because as a low-maintenance friend, I just want to know what to I, I guess I'm saying, like, when it comes to friendships, and I'm talking about, like, friendships and men that I'm talking to. I want to know what I'm expecting in the situation. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, I want to know, like, for an example... Like, let's say me and a man, our thing, me and a um guy, our thing is that we date once a month. Like, maybe we go on dates once a month, and then we check in, right? I don't want to feel like, and this is just me picking, me just talking off the top of my head. Because I had just seen a post, and people were saying, like, you can't say that you want low-maintenance friends, and then at the same time, have requirements. And I, in my opinion, you can. What do you guys think? Because, like, <clears throat> you can still be low maintenance and have requirements. Like, my requirement after losing my father is, like, be consistent. Like, even if that's consistency where we don't talk but one a year, once a year. I can see where that's like, but you're asking people to do something. And to be a low maintenance friend, you shouldn't be asking people to do something. I can understand that. But I, that's just where I'm at like, in my life. Like, when it comes to qualifications of my friends... You have to be consistent. So, like I said, that don't mean talk every day. That don't mean watch your kids and got to go to all kids' birthday parties. That don't mean none of that. I'm just at a place in my life where I need I need to know what I can expect from you. I need to know, okay, is this the friend that I go to movies with? Is this the friend that I go chop it up on the phone with once a month? I need to know what to expect from the people in my life, and I need consistency. I don't need nobody Oh, this month I feel like talking on the phone. Next month I don't. The next month I do. The next month I don't. The next month I do. Because I understand. I understand that people go through stuff. However, at the same time, I just need. Or, or, even if you do do that, right? Communication. I don't. I can't take you in my life one minute and then you're disappearing the next. And then you're in a life one minute and then you're disappearing the next. To me right now, I don't know if it's just because I took a huge loss. I need you to either be consistent in my life or be consistent out of my life. Excuse me. Is that a lot to ask for from a low, if you said you want low maintenance friends? And once again, you ain't got to talk to me all the time, but don't keep coming in my life and disappearing out of my life. Person, like, I don't even, like, for an example, one of my friends just called me. I'm such a busy person to the point, like, I be busy. So if I notice, like, this person inconsistent as heck or whatever, I, it, it's a problem. Like, for an example, one of my friends, I call her Sunday. It's freaking Wednesday. She just calling back. That's cool because I know that's her. But what I'm saying is if it gets to the point where it's like, dang, girl, I ain't heard from you in six months. and But all of a sudden, now you want to talk every day. Did you cut me off for another six months and talk every day? Like, I I don't know. I, I understand people be going through stuff, but right now, like I said, I just took a huge loss. I need nothing but consistency. So, shit, pick when we talking and stay with it or don't fucking talk to me at all. That's just kind of how I feel.
All right, y'all. Finally made it to the girls' school I was talking about. I didn't have a male penis part, and I didn't have time to go get a dildo. So we at her school. Her school is real cute. She got it cut off like a real, what's the name? That's cute. I never been in here. Every time I get something from her, I just meet her outside. But we're about to record my skills video. You want to be in my vlog? Sure. <laughs> this is my yeah. Aryan. Say hey. Hey. This is one of my sister best friends. <laughs> She's going to be my Aryan. We got to get these guys' Aryan. Let's go ahead. We got to go ahead and record. Are we doing this? You got to do everything. Yeah. Step so then step. we need to go here. So am I starting off in there and say, okay, I'm going to wash my hands? I would just say do it in here and say we're pretending like this is a room because there's no sink in there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me start a little bit. I'm going to introduce myself first. Hello, my name is Cherise. So I'm near RN. I'm going to teach you how to properly hand, do properly hand washing. First, you want to start by knocking on the door. Say, hi, John. My name is Cherise. So I'm your aide for the day. Um, let me wash my hands. And then said everything. I'm just going to put these gloves on there. And I'm just going to come over here and like grab my items. Okay. Here go the bed remote. Introduce yourself, but just do it again, I guess. Because yeah, no, I'm knocking on the door and telling what I'm gonna do. And then if they ask, just tell me split up the video for storage because yeah. it's on, you know. Yeah. It wants me to empty it out properly, like you empty out the water they properly make you and do the toilet. All that? Make sure you dry it. Yeah. When I took my class, they didn't make us do it. I told you the lady had like with an attitude to the point she didn't even. Ooh, what is up y'all welcome to a new day here? yeah that's so the last time i talked to y'all we were recording for so the trainer trainer is basically y'all it's literally the most pointless is this the school hold on i'll be right back y'all okay my bad y'all i had to get up the stairs the last time y'all seen me me and my rm was basically okay so in most states you got to do a trainer trainer course and then this trainer trainer course is basically teaching how to teach but it's no pointless anyways she had to record her videos because this particular school did their trainer trainer online so like i told y'all this girl was just being nice enough to let me see her school because as y'all see my beds and stuff ain't together yet i really am gonna focus yeah i'm so okay i'm just so yeah basically but I ain't really did nothing today. I got called into work. Well, I didn't get called in. They just dumped the list and they was paying down near $1,000. So I went in. Um, so I really just woke up when he got home from school. And he has two basketball practices. So one is now. And then I got to meet with the RN. And then I have to take him to his other basketball practice. So real mommy shit. Okay. I just woke up and had to rush out of bed because I had to run over to the bank. I forgot to tell y'all that part. I had to run to the bank because something was going on with my business um, credit card that I got for the account. So I had to rush to the bank and then get him. Like, you know how when you got stuff scheduled, scheduled, scheduled? Like, I literally would have five things in a row to do. So that's why I kind of just had to hop out of bed because I didn't plan on working last night. So, yeah. But anyways, we're up here. I'm trying to decide if we gonna go. He won't. He wanna go get hot pot, but I don't know if I feel like doing hot pot. I don't know. I don't know if I want noodles. I don't know. But we'll see, Boki. 
All right, we are eating. We decided to get the Korean barbecue. I'm tired. You got that sauce over there? You gonna take a look while Oh, I got some. Okay. Thank you. All right, y'all. Diaz got into his first real fight today. Like real fight. Diaz, explain to these people what happened. So, all right, y'all. So at recess, I was like. He, he, you know what happened last time we ran it because last Ooh. we was playing football, and last time, Ooh. last time he ran the ball, he slipped and fell. I was like, you know what happened last time we ran it, and he, it was like, be quiet, you everywhere, blah blah blah, and I kept talking and stuff. When we walked in to get our food, and I sat down, he sat like diagonally from me, so like that way, and he kept talking stuff. And I was like, bro, I'm getting tired of this calling me, calling me cuss with this stuff. So, so I told him to come here. I pushed him and started hitting him. Then I grabbed his leg, threw him on the ground, then I hit him and he hit me. And that's what happened, y'all. So now he ain't got, what is it you ain't got recess or what you don't got? Week plus, and I got a, uh, for recess and lunch, I got a, I got to be an uh, AOC. Child. Y'all, yeah, we about to eat. I am exhausted. Me too. I've had a long past two days. Me too. Yeah, he did practice hard today. Hard work pays off, so he gets a little treat. All right, all right, player. Well, do you have to you up with yourself, dude? This got a bone. Okay, good. What is up, y'all? So I made it over to the school. I'm just so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. Like, I don't even know. I can't even put it into words, but your girl, I'm about to record some quarantine or whatever. Then, I'm taking today off. I'm going to go to the mall and buy me some shit. Okay? I'm the, but one thing I'm not about to do is get pregnant. Y'all, the girlies are pregnant. <sighs> okay, y'all, I'm just so excited. Like, I just keep... Yeah. Hey, go sexy. <laughs> Go sexy. <laughs> I gotta stop being ratchet. So my sign goes up. I'm gonna put the sign right there. It come, they're coming Tuesday. And then I'm gonna ask him. Remember how I said I was gonna uh, try to get something in the window? I'm gonna ask him about that. The guy's finally coming to put my, I just say the guy, girl, my sister, baby, dude. He coming to put the bed together. Next week, girl, he got too many baby mama problems with the other baby mamas, okay? Like, boy, I just need you to put this together. Go sexy. Go sexy. Go sexy. <laughs> That's the mood. I'm so excited. Okay, and then I'm so excited because, y'all, I'm like, you know when you're reaching that finish line? I don't know why it's always a problem with the freaking, um... I don't know why it's always a problem when it comes to getting these letter of verifications. Like, you don't never got no problem when you be like, oh, hey, I need a letter of verification for a, an apartment or a car. The moment you say you need a letter of verification for opening your own business or because you got to have experience. My RN. What? But honestly, I don't know if, I don't know how she calling them because I just called and they gave it to me right away. So she been said she been trying all week, but I don't know. Go Tasha, go Tasha. <laughs> but I don't know. I know y'all, but y'all, I'm excited. I really am excited because y'all know that. First of all, whoever been rocking with me, y'all know I started this channel out. It was really just all about spa content. But I told you guys along the way, I really started, when I started teaching classes and stuff, I really started falling in love with teaching, helping people get just further, get better, or further and get, uh, girl, what? I'm so excited I can't even talk. Helping people elevate their lives with 
um, you know, starting businesses and stuff. But with this, it's starting careers. Yeah, STNA is a career. Say something else. <laughs> And then medical assist, medical assist, well, that's not the first. So, phlebotomy, STNA, and med aid. I'm just excited because the applications, I almost got everything I need for my application. Hey, go sexy. Go. <laughs> how you do the Shamar dance? I don't know how to do it. But anyways, I almost got everything I need for the, just, I almost got everything I need for the application, so... I'm just excited. It's literally, I know I keep saying it's one more thing, but it's literally one more thing that I have to do. All right, y'all. I'm at the mall, and I am looking for, I think I'm looking for Miss Dior. I'm looking for some spray scents. I had to put on this. I had to put on this hoodie because it literally started raining out of nowhere. It wasn't even supposed to rain. Mm. No, it does. Okay, hold on. You know, the original Miss Dior is just an EVP. It's just an auto It's a product. It smells so good, though. So, like, two sprays of this in the morning. I have a number of hours. Oh, this is a hard decision. No, girl. Oh, okay, this one for soft day. Then I'm gonna get this one. <laughs> That's what we gonna do. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> That's what we gonna do. Oh my God, mm -hmm. it's hard to decide. What were you, you? Were you looking for a new like spring scent? I was looking for a new spring scent. I'm trying to build my perfume collection. I was a body spray girl for a long time. And you know I got the basics, YSL, and then YSL Libre and Baccarat. Okay. So I have those two. So I was like, I need like a spring set. Okay. I do have the Libre. That is my favorite, but I was like, girl, we can't be putting this on every day. I know. So right. I found so something this new. Would be a good, like, medium between those two. And it, it just came out like last week. So this is very new. This feels have, so good though. <laughs> the bouquet is nice and it's a safe I think it just smells so different from what I have. I'm sorry. Oh, okay, sorry. I'm vlogging. Oh, no, you're fine. So this is the original uh, mystery. I don't like it as much as this. I mean, it smells scenty. It smells like fresh. It's not. It doesn't compete. I no, it doesn't. It don't mean it stinks. It don't stink. It just feels like a fresh scent. Yeah. All right. I think my nose just keep calling me to the blooming bouquet. Okay. I'm gonna get that. Okay. So I got the Miss Dior. Like I said, I was gonna get, but. She didn't talk me into this lip balm. It's super pink on my face right now. I like it though. It's crazy part is I've been was looking for a Dior, the Dior lip balm, but I didn't know nowhere in the city that sold it. So voila, I found it. I was looking for a Yankee candle, but they, because they said Beth and Body Works candle has a lot of bad things in it for you. So I was looking for a Yankee candle, but girl, I can't find it. So I gotta go. I mean, I'm about to get something to eat. I like it. It's just so pink. <laughs> so pink. What's up, y'all? So I am just sitting in the car trying to charge my phone before I go into this little cafe. I'm about to grab something to eat from this cafe, but I'm getting a little irritated because... Um, if you watched the last vlog, you saw my son got into a fight at school and this, he got into a fight at school and this was his like first real fight. Last year, the little boy smacked him. Okay. And last year he didn't do nothing back and he got in trouble for that because what right, the movie, keep your motherfucking hands to yourself. So long story short. trying to figure out why I haven't received a call from anybody 
Like, they sent me a message on Class Dojo, but that's not good enough. Like, a fight took place. If a fight happens, you don't just write a parent and say, oh, a fight happened. They don't, he has doesn't have lunch for 10 minutes. Like, I want to, I mean, 10 days. I want to know what happened from an adult perspective since you was the fuck there. So, I called this morning. Still did not get a call. So, his teacher wrote me. Mind you, it, it was during lunch, so his teacher was not there. So his teacher wrote me like, I understand your frustration. If I was a parent and a fight happened, I would want them to, like, the principal or somebody to call. Mind you, I left a message with the principal. Like, what the fuck is y'all doing, bruh? That shit really starting to zone me out. But anyways, peaceful and positive vibes. I got the Miss Bloom. So what she was talking about, I, I think you heard it. This is the Blooming Bouquet. Oh my God, Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet. It smells so good. It's such a good spring scent, girl. Um, what she was saying is that they have another one. Um, I forgot it just came out. Oh, here we go, right here. She gave me a sample. Okay, so this is the Miss Dior par perfume. And basically, she was saying that it, it the man that made Baccarat, which y'all know my favorite two scents right now is Baccarat and YSL Libre, but I'm trying to advance, okay? I'm trying not to be a basic bitch, okay? But the um long story short. She gave me the sample, and this one smells close to Baccarat. I, I ain't nothing gonna ever top Baccarat though, but it smells close. It smells good, but this I'm looking for a spring scent in the Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet. It really like it really. Oh, it smells so good. It gives that springtime. It's gonna smell so good with that body, that strawberry body guys. Who? Who is about to hide me into this? It's like now, let me stop. But yeah, that smells good too. <laughs> excuse me i feel like this is more of like a board meeting i don't this is giving listen this giving uh sundress honey them clappers clapping okay hair pulling down my back okay fresh deodorant marks under my arms you feel <laughs> oh my god it smells so good okay and this is just the lip balm but yeah, I'm just really trying to wait for my phone to charge up a little before I go in here so I can get some content for y'all because I am a YouTuber. I am, I'm a content creator. I'm going to get the content, okay? I am the content. I'm going to get the content. But yeah, I was just sitting in the car like, why have nobody called me back? The fuck is y'all doing? <laughs> I don't know why the first part of this story did not record, but I'm about to record the first part of this story again. So they called me in work, y'all. So I'm here because they, they called me in. So anyways, girl. So it's just so funny because I was on the phone with my friend and she was just telling me this story time. She basically, she's at an orientation and she like, girl, I'm not coming back. How many times have you been at the orientation? Like, baby, this is the last time y'all go see me. <laughs> but it made me think of this time. And when I say this was the worst orientation I had ever been in in my life, okay, boom. So the first, first, the first red flag is, you know how when you have orientation that's in the room before you get to floor orientation. So in the orientation that's in the room, no, no, no. Before we even get to that orientation, let's talk about filling out the application. So I fill out the application or whatever. Some nursing homes you still go in fill out the application. I fill out the application, girl. So boom. While I'm filling out the orientate application, they're like, we can interview now. Then she asking, like, when can you come to orientation? We have an orientation. I'm like, well, when is it? She like, well, we hold orientation for new hires weekly. So that's the first red flag because why do you have a standing orientation for new hires? How many times a month do you got new hires? I mean, well, clearly weekly. But why do you have weekly new hires? Should have been the first red flag. Okay. So let's continue. So get to the orientation. In the orientation, they, I kid y'all not, like 10 times y'all, these people was like, um, if you, if you are told to sign a letter of a, a statement on someone, you must sign or there will be consequences basically. So I'm thinking like, why do they keep talking about, you got to make statements. Mind you, in my whole nursing career, I have literally had to make one statement and that's because this girl was still in medicine at the cart. But mind you, the statement that I wrote was not on her. The statement was just about how many narcs was in the cart previously to her coming and to me working the shift because we had work, basically worked each other's shit around you know what i'm saying so boom girl so fast forward okay boom in the orientation i'm like that is so weird mind you in the orientation there's a girl in here that is so high 
This girl was hired at a motherfucking kite. When I said she had on a dress that had her back out at an orientation for a nursing home, they did a walk through the building. She's so high. She walking around just, hi, hey, like literally greeting everybody. Y'all, she was so high in orientation that she literally got took out the orientation. She, long story short, she didn't end up working there. But my thing is, who hired her? Because if this person was so high to the point that they was in the orientation high, how did they make it through the hiring process? So, boom. We finally get out. It's my first day on the floor. Mind you, this building is pretty big. It has codes, and it's different codes to literally every floor. So, they call me while I'm in the parking lot, and they're like, um, you are orientating tonight, but we want you to take a car, but only for 30 minutes. I'm, But we want you to take a car, but only going to take the car for 30 minutes until so-and-so get here. Please, we'll give you a bonus. We can't, da 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 Okay, boom. Y'all got bonuses to throw around. Just basically, they like, hold the keys. So, I'm like, whatever, I'll hold the keys. So, long story short, mind you, from the, I clocked in at 7.01. From the time it took me from getting from the break room to this floor, it was like 7.05. Because like I told y'all, it was a big building. A lot of codes. I had to look at my phone to see what code is what. Only my third day in orientation. So, get to the floor, walk in. Outside, first of all, outside the door is somebody and her friend smoking. Okay, boom. It's smoking cigarettes. So I walk in, didn't know it was a nurse. Sit down, get my pen and everything ready, you know, about to get ready to take report. The girl walks in from outside smoking. Mind you, I didn't even know she was a nurse. Walk in, go over to the nursing cart. Y'all think this hoe asked me, how you doing? Nothing, nothing, nothing. She looked at me and said, you ready to count? I said, yeah, uh, can, you know, at the report or whatever. She says, Honey, if you want to report, you should be here at 7. Y'all, I kid y'all not, it was 7.07. So, mind you, I got down there at 7.05. This bitch didn't walk down there for two minutes later. So, if you were really in a rush to go, you would have put your ciggy down to count and take report. So, I said, mind you, y'all, y'all, if somebody ever said something to y'all so crazy, you was thrown off, like, wait a fucking minute. Like, I didn't, I genuinely did not know. Like, I, it took me back because that has never happened to me. I'm like, first of all, Per protocol, we have to 7.13 o'clock in. Like, girl, just because other motherfuckers around here want to get here at 6.55 and whatnot, bitch, you have till 7. Let me explain something to you. If you want me to take them keys, <coughs> you gonna get report. Mind you, me and her going back and forth for at least three minutes. We going back and forth. So I'm like, at this point, girl, I just get my stuff, get up, start walking out. So she calling the schedule at the same time I'm calling the schedule. I'm basically telling them like, huh, I'm about to go. I'll see y'all later. This ain't for me. Cause if this the attitude, y'all, I said, this how y'all do y'all. At this point, I was up to here. Mind you, I don't normally be like, I know in most situations, I know how to handle it. But I was so zoned out. Cause I'm like, this how y'all do this, what y'all do girl. The schedule on the phone, like, no, this is not what we do. Da, da, da. I'm like, clearly this is what y'all do. Because if she felt comfortable enough to do that to me, I can only imagine who she's done that to before. Like, can you imagine if that was a new nurse? Bitch, we don't play nurse eat that young around here. Because who you talking to? You need me. I don't need you. You need me to take the keys. The fuck? So, anyways... This whole situation happened. Situation happened to the point it's only it's seven twenty five at this point. Cause basically she on the phone with the schedule. I'm on the phone with the schedule, going back and forth. I'm on the phone with the schedule, talking to her because she's still running her mouth, but she ain't running her mouth. She's a weirdo. So at this point, she's like, "Well, just go up to the floor to your orientation." <laughs> Boom. On you. So this was what the third, fourth flag before my orientation even started. And I should have just left. I should have just left. But no. Now we move on to the actual orientation. Okay? So the girl that's orientating me, she's a good, she's a, she cool, she cool AF, okay? She cool and everything, but baby. So the first thing that happens is me and the girl are literally sitting there and they let this one man medicine right now. Now, the problem with this, I bet you bet by now, is that they have so many behaviors in this building. Like, so many behaviors, it is ridiculous. So, when I say the nurse that was orientating me, mind you, she's sitting at the car and she passing out medicine. Y'all, when I say this, man literally walked up to her and was this close to her and started screaming to the top of his lungs about his fucking narcs. And it was like... Um, so she's literally trying to tell him, like, we're waiting for it to come. 
y'all he is going good but it's shit like that that pissed me off because it's certain people that should not run out of narcs if you see narcs getting low just reorder them you literally can do it with a click of a button if you see they not coming in you literally could just make a list of people that need it and just call or you can fax it over i never understood why people don't do it it's literally the click of a button if you use the pcc to reorder narcs and it's so simple like i don't know where about where y'all from but like say if they don't have this they need another script so they ran out it's literally simple just to tell the family to f pharmacy to reach out to the doctor for a new script I never understood that, like, there should never be a point that you should have to go to the e-box unless it's a new medicine or unless it's a, you know, there should not be a reason that you have to go to the e-box when it's a routine or a PRN medicine that they've had forever. If it get low, if it get close to under, like, my, my, if I see it get into, like, 14, reorder. Anyways. Man going good, so she got that to deal with. At the same time, there's a lady on the hot, so there's an aide on the floor, okay? So long story short, there was staffing issues, so they was basically swishing aides around or whatever. They tell this aide to go to another house, so we thinking, okay, boom, the aide is at that hall or whatever. So, <clears throat> mind you, two hours later, another aide walks up to us, and the other aide asks, like, hey, I wanted to know, did you, um, basically the other A walked up to us and the other A asked where the girl was at. And everybody was like, well, she's on so-and-so's so house. So I guess she walked down there, found out she was not on so-and-so's house. So she asked us, well, I'm like, I don't know where she at. And they're like, she don't know where she at. So long story short, it got to the point where y'all four hours that went past, this girl was gone. Mind you, she walks in the building later. Like, what? What's up? What's wrong? Why is everybody looking for me? I said, oh. huh? Like, this is my thing. If you're going to disappear from the floor, at least let somebody know, like, girl, I got to run home. It's probably going to be about an hour, two hours. You know, so when people looking for you, they know where you at. So in the meantime of this lady leaving, girl, the, the, the one of her residents that tried to get out of bed fell, busted her head or whatever. Okay, boom. Y'all. So then, fast forward, she finally back. So then, the same night, so she fast forward, she finally back, she doing her job. So then, literally, the same night, <clears throat> the lady come in or whatever, and um, it's a resident, she going good or whatever. So long story short, I end up having to, they said I got to write a statement on the lady going good. So she was going good, her and the aide start, a different aide start getting into it. So long story short, they said I had to write a statement on that situation. Then there was a man walking around taking pictures of people, a resident. Girl, by the end of the shift, this one really blew me. One of the, I forget what she was. She worked in the office or whatever. She comes up to me and she says, hey, we need you to sign this statement. Girl, it was like three different statements of things that happened that night. One was about the A leaving. And I'm like, well, I wasn't her nurse. Like, mind you, she had one room on my hall all her other all her other rooms was on the other nurse hall the lady that fell wasn't on my house so she i mind you she like um well we need you to sign this statement that she was gone because we caught her on camera da, da, da. so if you got her on camera what the fuck you need me to write a statement for so i'm like she like basically wanted me to write a statement i'm like i don't feel comfortable writing no statement on nobody like i've never written a statement on nobody she like you need to write this statement that she was gone for four hours and mind you i'm like well i don't know that she was gone for four hours because she's not on my hall like you get what i'm saying like she wasn't on my hall and she like, well, if you feel like you're going to refuse writing a statement, just know that they're going to basically write me up and I write in a statement. I said, I can do you one better. You ain't even got to fucking worry about it. Because the thing about it is she really wasn't on our hall. She was on the other nurse's hall. You want me to write a statement while I'm in orientation? Wow. First of all, write. First of all. If you have somebody already on camera disappearing and not coming back for four hours later, you don't need a statement from me. Second of all, I'm telling you, I thought she was on a whole nother hall. So I could see if she was just on my hall and she had my people, but y'all switch people up. So therefore, I don't know that this girl been gone for, I mean, clearly we think she been gone for four hours. <coughs> but what I'm saying is it's not something that I know for a fact because for the first two hours I thought she was on a whole nother hall and she could very much say I was on the other hall so anyways girl after that I just told them I put in my two weeks I said I won't be back I put in my two weeks and I was like you know what I don't want to come back mind you I heard about this place from 
you know how you talk to people in the industry. I heard about this place from people in the industry, and they was like, well, I'm going to tell you now, you're going to feel like you, every time you go in there, you're going to feel like you might lose your license. And I'm like, oh, I can handle it. It ain't. Baby, when I say every time you leave that motherfucker, you're going to feel like you might lose your license. Like, is that much going on? I'm literally missing pieces in the story. That's how much it was going on. But, girl, it that place was a fucking mess. Like, when I say a fucking mess, like, that place was a mess, y'all. Come to find out, turn around, they didn't even fire the girl. So, what the fuck, what was the point in wanting me to write a statement, wanting me to do this? Y'all wasn't even gonna fire her. So, then, what? Would, if I wrote the statement, it would have been animosity between me and the girl. And then the crazy part about it is, y'all wasn't even asking the, the nurse on the other hall to write a statement. Why are y'all asking me to write a statement? Like, what? Girl, the whole situation was just a freaking mess. Like, I'm talking about a, a mess. Um, ba -da -dum 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 -dum. Bow, 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 get it sexy. <laughs> I know y'all like, girl, <laughs> what's up, y'all? It's the morning after the shift. Oh, yeah. Am I the only one that be super amped? I'm like super amped. I don't know why I'm super amped. Like, I hate when I get that, like, rush feeling. Like, I'm amped. So now I feel like I could go conquer the world, but then I'm a crash. Because, girl especially when you ain't pick up no more shoes all right so i told y'all that story time <laughs> y'all that was the craziest shit but it's just so funny like the stuff that happens at nursing homes is like literally insane girl so um we were just talking last night or whatever and it's just so funny because the girl was telling me about something that just happened at this particular nursing home. I ain't saying no days. I ain't gonna. But y'all tell me why. <clears throat> tell me why they said like a few weeks ago that there was like three A's. They left and they went on break together, right? So this is normal. But they left and they went on break. And where they went on break was to a bar, honey. So apparently these people would they apparently they was in the bar. Honey, they got drunk and they was gone for like four hours. And it was so funny that I told y'all this story because she was like we was just talking and somebody was telling me this. I'm like, what is at what it what what is where AIDS leaving the floor for four hours thinking that shit is okay? Like, girl, what the hell? So apparently these people was gone for four hours. Came back and they were like drunk drunker than a skunk drunker than a drunker than a drunker than a drunk okay they said they was drunk they said the one so it was one guy and i really liked him i'm sorry that he didn't like you know like i said i was i'm prn so i don't see him all the time and i hadn't picked up in like i want to say like seven weeks in that time frame so he was cool i'm sorry i didn't get to chop it up with him before you know anyways so girl why they said girl so girl why they said they came back and the one girl so he was able to hide his drunkness okay but they said the other girl that so the other girl i guess she was able to hide it but they said the one girl was so drunk so they said it's not funny but i can't help but laugh because like girl what so they said she was on <laughs> and she was just talking like saying that she was sucking the administrator and the D.O.N. dick like or saying she would suck the dick it is not funny why am I laughing but basically they said she was going around just saying she she would suck they dick then they said that she was going around um like basically <laughs> she went and sat in the chair they said she just sat in the chair and was going to sleep they said the nurse on the floor, on her floor told her her lights going out. And they said, um, she was like, you get them. Oh my God. The craziest part of the story is apparently, girl, guess who snitched on them? The other girl that was with them. So, I mean, well, of course, everybody that was there snitched on them because they were drunk and had to get sent home or whatever. But apparently, like, as evidence, they had a meeting or whatever. The girl that went out with them, child, she was there. She had them on video, y'all. They said she had video of them. I said, so wait a minute. 
why was she so oh and she didn't get fired so i'm like y'all ain't got none of my business i'm just telling y'all the story i don't give a fuck okay that ain't got shit to do with me but i was like well why she didn't get fired they said she didn't get fired because she went to the meeting i guess and i guess she told long story short she said she didn't know that they was going to the bar she didn't know what was going to be happening basically she didn't know they was going to the bar so i guess when it was at the bar she was taking videos like look at you look at your drunk ass da, 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 da. but apparently she sent it I, I i this is all hearsay that's why i ain't saying no names no locations this is all he say she say also i'm being told the story by multiple different people so i wasn't there i don't know what happened but girl they said that she uh basically told like <laughs> yeah i ain't about to get me caught up so she told um and had video proof but i guess she didn't get fired because she told which i'm like does that make sense that you didn't get fired because you told because you were there and when like i guess because i'm like well at any point why shouldn't you just take an uber back so you just sat in the bar for four hours with them like i don't know like what i mean to me personally you're a part of the festivity like you're a part of the activities at this point but i guess snitches don't get stitches child but that is just y'all when i say i was like what are these aids think and i'm not this ain't a coming for aids video so so don't fucking start okay this is not a coming for stna's video i'm just weak because like what is with people in jobs nowadays why do you feel that you can literally just disappear for four hours off the floor <laughs> where they do that at girl where do they do that at like no seriously where they do that at mm. bow 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 i don't know girl I don't know where they do that. Oh, ain't no traffic. But yeah, so the girl's still there working. She got her job, child. So that ain't, that ain't got nothing to do with me. Well, I'm just at a place in life. Like, so for an example, I was talking to this guy, right? And he, like, you know how when you can't put your finger on something, but you can put you like you know how you feel, but you can't put your finger on it directly what it is, and then people try to make it seem like you're confused on what you want, and it's like no, I'm very I, I know what I want, I just like for an example, I'm y'all. Y'all ever been in a place in life where, like, literally, I'm just at a place where I'm just shutting down from, like, so many people. And honestly, like, I just ain't even ghost people. Like, literally, people have been calling me, and they've been like, well, why you ain't call me or, you know, whatever. And I literally just, like, the only answer I have been giving them is what you're offering me in life right now is not what I want. What you putting down is not what I want to pick up. I'm just at that place with a lot of people like I just feel like people are users you only hear from people when they need something and honestly I do have a lot of good people in my life so don't take it as I'm saying I don't but there's also people I feel like in my life like bro, you only call when you need something or people that are agent of confusion like like men that are agents of confusion like I'm not confused I know exactly what I want you're confused because you don't want that to be what I want. Girl, when I say that has been my line for the past, like, I want to say the past freaking week, like, I don't want what you're offering. Like, literally, what be, and it's just been so, it's honest, though. It's honest from my core. Like, at this point in life, I, like, if you were to describe this chapter in your life, what would you describe it as? What song title? That's a good question. I don't know. What song title would I describe my life as? Like, I got to think of that while I'm asking y'all. But I know a subtitle is, I don't want what you're offering. <laughs> and I won't continue to accept it. Don't make no, don't let nobody make you feel guilty for not accepting what they're offering, especially if that's not what you want. Like, and I'm talking about just in, I'm talking about at a job, I'm talking about friendship, I'm talking about um, relationships, <coughs> excuse me, 
And y'all, it got so bad. I told my son that the other day. I forgot what he got a little attitude for. It, it wasn't even that deep. I said, let's talk. I am not going to accept what you're offering. <laughs> Y'all been killing them with that line. I'm not going to accept what you're offering. So you need to change your behavior. Or my offerings are going to disappear. That's all I got to say. Okay. I don't. I feel like in my life for too long. I have over explained things. I feel like in my life for too long. I have. I have over just. That's, that's the best way I can explain it. I have over explained things. And baby, I'm not over explaining anything. I will explain it one time to you. And if you understand, great. If you don't understand, that is not my problem. But I know what I will, I know what I will make clear. I am not, I'm not interested in what you're offering. Like literally. I'm not interested in what you're offering. Girl, when you hit, like, when you hit a dude with that, honey, they gonna be like, what? But it's honestly how I felt. Like, I'm not interested in what you're offering. You have a nice life. Like, I think he thought I was joking at first when I told this dude that, and... No, I'm not joking. I'm not interested in anything that you're offering me. But last night at work and I have some downtime is when I recorded that video. And I'm trying to figure out when I am going to see Nicki Minaj, Nicki Lewinsky, Nicki the Barbie, Nicki the Harry Google Booker. I'm like, why do you guys bother at this point? Give it up. It's me. I win. You lose. <laughs> I'm a bad bitch. I'm a, I'm a bad bitch. I'm a bad bitch. I'm a, I'm a bad bitch. I'm a bad bitch. I'm a, I'm a bad bitch. Um. Y'all, uh, I think I'm about to go see, I, I think I know where I want to go see her at. Okay, content, content, you feel me? I'm going to make sure I record. But I think I do know where I want to go see her. Oh, this sun is blaring, like, I'm talking about blazing, 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 blazing. It feels like I'm blazing, blazing, blazing. It feels like I'm blazing, blazing, blazing. It feel like a blazing. I, I hope she sings. Like, I really do hope. If you've been to the Pink, Pink Print Tour, let me know below. I hope that she comes. I'm talking about with the hits. I'm talking about with the sluggers. I'm talking about I want, I want her to come so motherfucking hard. I... Listen, I know there's controversy with Nicki Minaj, Nicki Lewis, Nicki the Hurts, Nicki Barbie. In the room, man. I understand that there are... I just want to enjoy stuff. I like her music, girl. I don't, I don't know Megan Thee Stallion. I do not know Nicki Minaj, okay? And I just feel like these fandoms take too much. I'm not part of nobody fandom. I honestly feel like... I used to be part of the BHAB. <laughs> but I honestly feel like a lot of these fandoms, like... Y'all be too invested in people that don't give a fuck about you. Baby, I am here for the vibes and the good times. I don't got nothing. They don't care about you. And then to be honest, y'all don't, nobody knows what went down. Oh, I do believe Tori shot her though. <laughs> We're just going to put that out there. But when I'm, when I, and, and, and oh, hold on, Nikki is wrong for making fun of domestic violence or whatever, right? A lot of people talk about Nicki Minaj. What the fuck? I don't even want to look over to see what that squirrel had in his mouth. A lot of people talk about Nicki Minaj's character, right? But at the same time, like, they said Megan Thee Stallion had flawed character. So, I guess my thing is, like, girl, that ain't got... I just wanted to go for the vibes, okay? The vibes and the good times. Because it feels like I'm blazing, blazing, blazing. It feels like I'm blazing, blazing, blazing. What's up, y'all? So welcome, welcome, welcome to another. It's the same day. It's actually just later in the day, and my son got a football a football training, and he got another whatever it is. Did he want to go to a party? The parent, listen, my son can't spend the night, but your kids can spend the night. I don't. Why do I just feel like at that age? At that age, why do people do sleepovers? And he's nine, but I just feel like I don't know. From what I've seen. Like, this one little boy had a birthday party last year at the hotel. Girl, when I say the videos for that party was such a fucking mess. Like, when I say they was fighting, kicking, hitting, like, 
They always in that room fighting. I'm like, who, where the fuck was the mama? I know the mom. She's, you know. But I'm like, where the fuck was so-and-so at? Like, y'all, I'm talking about they always in there fighting. Baby, we don't, do, I, listen, my son is a boy, and he will fight if he needs to. But just all that pointless, random fight and hit and kick it, I hate that. Like, I don't know. I don't, I, I hate when uh, people be like, let boys be boys. Who said boys got to beat the shit out of each other? Who said that? Like, they can't play with stuff. They can't play. Why do they got to be fighting to be boys? That's why these boys grow up with anger attitudes that they don't know how to control or automatically want to jump the violence because y'all automatically correlate, not y'all, but them. Y'all automatically correlate um, boys with aggression or fighting or like we ain't doing that. But anyways, so I have on the Miss Bloom Booming Bouquet. Um, and honestly, I didn't think I liked the way it smelled at first. Like I just kept sniffing myself and I literally felt like you know how I don't know how else to say that I felt like it smelled like a dog that's crazy to say I felt like it felt like a dog like you know how a dog hair smells that's how I felt it smelled but my son literally got in the car he was like mm, so I smell good and I was like is it me and I leaned over to him he's like yeah you smell good so I'm like maybe it don't smell bad i don't know me personally me personally i don't know i gotta get used to it i'm I remember how in the video i was going back and forth between the two i'm almost i sprayed the one that i didn't get she gave me a sample i sprayed the one i didn't get right here and i'm almost feeling like i should have got that one like i keep sniffing that one but i feel like i'm going to do that because that one is created by the owner of Baccarat Rouge. So Baccarat Rouge is my favorite, ultimate favorite perfume. So I feel like I'm, that's why I got the other one. Cause I'm like, I want to get different scent. I want to become one of y'all perfume girlies, okay? I want to have a real perfume. Now I don't know about mass perfumes y'all because honestly, honestly, like, the anxiety. I mean, no, anxiety is a trick of the devil. That's what I keep telling myself. I will not claim anxiety anymore. That is another thing, you guys. In 2024, we are not claiming anything that is trapping our mind, our bodies, or our souls. We will not be claiming, oh, I have depression. We will not be claiming, oh, I have anxiety. Now, do you have it? Yes, but I'm not claiming it no more. The, the tongue is so powerful. I will not be claiming anxiety no more. If y'all see me claim it, get on, get on my butt in the comments, okay? I will not be claiming depression. I, I'm, not, I'm not claiming any of that no more, okay? Um, it's a trick of the mind. That's, it's a trick of the mind, okay? Okay, I know I'm late. I am late. I'm just not, I'm now watching Mel Copa. The movie with Kelly Rowland. First of all, let's just say Miss Kelly, Miss Kelly. She is gorgeous. Kelly Rowland is that girl. Okay, Kelly Rowland been that girl. Okay, Kelly Rowland been that girl from the beginning to the end. Da -da 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 -da. Kelly Rowland has always been that girl. Right? Gorgeous. But the thing is, girl, did y'all watch that movie with Tyler Perry? Y'all, one thing about it and two things for sure. Okay, you know, I do have a problem with Tyler Perry. I just feel like all his all his content is literally surrounded by what I'm trying to say. I feel like all his content is just struggle love for black women. Now, I was having this conversation I was having this conversation with my hairdresser and it's funny cuz she was having this conversation with one of her clients and she said that she um basically the client was like if you watch his um I think he had a biography or something that's basically what that's basically what he went through like our scene um growing up right so i understand that i understand that your movies and your tv shows reflects what your reality was however i feel like why is it always done for black women i just feel like when you are like just think about if this was a white man that made the shows that tyler perry made about black women the world would be in an uproar I think that it is covered with the fact that he is a black man. I think it is fact that he was co it's covered in the fact that he was homeless in his whole story. But I think we have to learn how to separate. I do think we have to learn how to separate people from their work. I like Tyler Perry. Well, I don't know him. Shit. 
but from his story i like him as a person but his work has to get better i am so tired of the struggle love presented as black women i am so tired of every single one of his shows all they do is talk about men like nobody just talks about men all day long and if you do girl you need something to do okay don't nobody talk about these noogles like that like bruh yes we talk about men but we have other things going on we got kids we got lives we got dreams we got goals we have we just got so much else going on other than sitting around talking about men 24 7. that is something we are not doing so does it get a little annoying like that this is what like imagine the girl over in japan that has never really been around black women so i, I feel like a lot of the tv and prescription I feel like a lot of the TV and, you know, y'all know about they say programming. I feel like that is the perception. So I feel like a lot of times when you have TV shows and Karen, Karen now pregnant with, 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 with the baby, first of all, she didn't know she, she, she's still in love with the nigga that wasn't shit. All of a sudden a nigga leave. Now he's shit. He got everything. His life is just randomly perfect. Now that he done left the woman that had held him down. It's too many stereotypes of me. You know what I'm saying? Now that he done left the woman that held him down. She walking around. Now she pregnant with two men baby daddies. The other man was a man that was married to a white lady. <laughs> Let's get on Danny. Danny. Danny don't know if she's coming and she going and I want her to stop making that voice so bad and I know it's Tyler Perry that tells her to do it because I've watched her other shows and I am so tired of this girl talking like you going you so what you gonna go it's like she's in a run like she's playing a runaway slave movie I don't know like girl just talk just say what you gotta say like Tyler Perry oh my god and you know I think what pisses me off the most is that it could be a really good show he just need to throw other stuff in there like and I think what else pisses me off is that my favorite kind of shows y'all is a four woman duet I love me a good four four woman duet oh my god girlfriends insecure sex in the city y'all those are like the other ones I can't remember what run the world what's the one called with Megan Fox Megan, Megan Fox, Megan Good, Megan Fox is on my mind because freaking Love is Blind. The crazy part is I ain't even watch Love is Blind. I like that. I'm watching like clips and stuff because I just cannot. Okay, back to the original. What else we was talking about? But Love is, I mean, uh, Megan, Megan Good, like that show. I love a good foursome on a TV show. Like, um, but what was it? What was the show with Jill Scott? She was married. I forget whatever I, what I'm saying is those are my favorite type of shows to watch so every time I and I keep giving Tyler Perry a chance like I think this season right now it was not as bad so I was like kind of rocking with it I'm like okay finally the black woman is not miserable finally um andy is finding love now he zoned me out because as soon as andy found love boom a scandal the guy that she's with his sister is gary's girlfriend okay cool let's do that for the drama but now all of a sudden the guy that she with he's in a scandal for what for um messing with a young girl it came out that he wasn't but it's like bruh but okay we're gonna let that go okay now karen pregnant with twins the other girl the little sweet one with the braids i forget her name uh, she messing with the dude that don't want kids why can't nobody just be happy around this motherfucker tyler perry why can't nobody just be happy around this motherfucker like goodness gracious i get i get that it had to be drama i get that i get it but it just be too much like i was saying though i gave it a chance he's finally letting other people be the villain like gary is now the villain and i'm not saying that tyler perry does not have other men i don't i'm not saying that he doesn't have men be the villain but i'm just saying nine times out of ten in his shows the woman is suffering i don't know if it's some type of reverse psychology he's trying to pull like <laughs> excuse me or maybe he's just trying to show women like if you keep putting yourself in this predicament this is what you're going to be y'all think that's what it is because i just 
back to what my original point i'll be looking at it like what if the girl over in japan that has never been to america sees this and she really thinks that's how black women are or that's how black women lives are and i with tv programming i feel like a lot of times when people say the angry black woman or uh, she can't get a man she can't get married i know motherfuckers that's married every motherfucking day in life okay um i feel like that, that, that that's the stereotype that they're the, 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 I don't like the stereotype. Somebody at least could be happy. You feel me? Like, make somebody at least happy. Jeez, oh, peace. Somebody can't be happy. Everybody gotta, everybody gotta be around this motherfucker. Uh, depressed, having twins by two different men. Uh, boyfriend is in a scandal for raping a little, for uh, boom besting a little girl. In a scandal for touching a little girl. The other, like. I, and I stopped watching because it was just getting too much. Like, when you you want to sit there and tell me that this girl is messed... Let me not even get started on the past. Sabrina. That was the girl. Sabrina. The little sweet one. But Tyler Perry, I don't... Maybe that's what he's doing. Because, like I said, it's... With the male Copa, I liked the movie, but it was very obvious what was going to happen. But I liked the movie, but it's just like... I don't know. It, it was very much giving Get Out. But I'm a movie person, so it takes a lot for me to be like, oh, I do not like this movie. It takes an absolute lot. But I guess while I'm sitting here talking, I'm thinking about, like, for an example, The Love is Blind, the girl AD. Like, when I say this man literally sat there and told... So a lot of people was felt some type of way because they like, she's stupid, she dumb, da-da-da. And I'm like, she may be all of those things. I ain't gonna take that away from her, okay? But I think it was very important because... um. I, a lot of times excuse me a lot of times when we're in something we don't really see that we're in it right and i don't think like imagine how much you went through in your past relationship and you turned around and you looked and you was like i cannot believe i let that happen like you get what i'm saying like i cannot believe i actually did that how many times have you laughed at the stuff that you really put up with in the past you was like man i wish i would ever put up with some shit like that again right i think it was very important for people to see ad because Clay was a lot of these men out here, okay? Clay is the good guy, but he is the good broken guy, okay? He is the good guy that show, his father was not the best. That was, see, a lot of the people try to say that a lot of these fathers not in their life, but guess what? It's a whole plethora of men that have fathers in their life that were bad examples. So, Clay, his father was a bad example of what a man should be to a woman. So, therefore, now he is carrying that into his adulthood. Once again, we all have childhood trauma, but you chose not to get healed from it. You chose not to go to therapy. It was so bad. This man literally was basically telling her, like, girl, I'm not about to be faithful. And she literally, girl, girl, I wish I had a clown nose. This girl literally would just be, I don't know what, AD, I genuinely don't know if it was registering what he was saying to her. Like, seriously, and I'm like, See, I'm smelling the perfume. I don't know if it's this one, this is the other one, or me. I don't like the way it smells on the clothes, but I like the way it lures. That's weird. I don't know. But anyways, I'm like, I don't think it's registered because it, who was surprised when he didn't marry her at the altar? What he said to her when she walked down the aisle was diabolical, but it wasn't shocking. He has never complimented. You know how you could tell like a man really, really like you, like really just love you, really just love your presence. Like they say things like, I, they, like they, they don't say things like, okay, body. Yeah, you stack. I mean, they might, but what I'm saying is when a man is really looking deeper into your soul, and really feeling like the person and the essence that you are it is much more than okay body especially when you are walking down the aisle about to get married my problem is if you knew you were not ready for a marriage why are you on a show called love is blind the whole premise is surrounded by y'all getting married at the end of the show like literally but i was back to what i was saying i think it's very important because a lot of times the red flags be right there these men we like to be like oh i didn't see any red flags oh i didn't know what was happening oh he he turned out that way no he was that way from the beginning you just chose to ignore it and sometimes we don't i know i genuinely do not think that ad saw how she was just ignoring every red flag i almost guarantee she was probably looking back at the tv like girl what the fuck 
I'm almost guaranteed she was looking back like, girl, what the fuck? This man is literally telling you he's not going to be faithful. He literally never came home. Why? He literally never came home. You did not think he was about to marry you. You knew he wasn't about to marry you. I don't care what you say. I, you knew that man was not about to marry you. But this is, once again, not coming for AD because a lot of times we literally, like for, like we, oh, I was about to tell you an example, but I ain't trying to throw nobody under the bus. I was going to tell you an example for me. Just like I told y'all in my last video, well, like I'm not judging nobody, honey. <laughs> I ain't judging the sign, okay? And can't none of us judge a soul because I'm almost guaranteed. It's so crazy. The internet is not a real place because I'm almost guaranteed the people that be out there judging, let's see your relationship, okay? But back to my original, what I was saying, now that I think about it, maybe it is important for people to see AD in that capacity because now that they see her, maybe they've seen some of the same things that their man does and they can put their situation in perspective because a lot of times, I don't know, when we in it, we just, I don't know. If I'm running out here right now, my chest got to get back to the front. The only way my chest can get to the front is if I turn back to the front. I can't get my Practice number two, honey. I didn't. Mean, he's still trying to go to that birthday party chat. Okay, y'all. So this is. Um, I'm trying to hurry up. I am in a rush, so I just honestly just let the hair flow. I had it curl earlier. I don't have time to curl it, so the hair is just flowing. I have to literally brush on my makeup. The highlight is light as hell. I'm about to go upstairs and fix that. Okay, before I go. But I just have on like a little black cocktail, a little black cocky, a little black cocktail dress. I'm about to spray me some good old Miss Dior. Y'all know I was gonna go for the YSL. I'm coming. Y'all know I was going for the YSL. <coughs> but I'm trying to get into the different scent. So that's all I got. Boom. A little black cocky, little basic moon roll. About to go touch up my hair, fix this highlight. Oh my god. Fix this highlight and be on the way. It's gonna have to give what it gives today. Hold on, y'all. 
y'all. See, I'm in here grilling. Child, it, they got on fire. Hold on. What's up, y'all? All right, so I am cooking some food for my family. We're trying to just continue family times and things like that. Girl, and then I still got to clean up, honey. It's just a mess. So I got some vegetables to cook. I'll just use these things. So I'm cooking the meat. They're doing the vegetable. I mean, they're doing the sides, but I said I would do some vegetables. So that's what I'm about to do. I'm about to do some green beans, some Brussels sprouts. But how y'all doing today? How your day going? How you feeling? What's going? What's going on? Hey, the funniest story happened ever. Hey, y'all. Remember the, okay, so remember the other day I asked y'all, I don't know if it's in the other vlog or this vlog, I asked you guys, what would this chapter of your life, like what song would this, what song would this be of your life? I still don't know. I know what, I still don't know what this chapter would be. I don't know. I'm just here. We just here, vibing out. We just here, child, because I don't, I don't freaking know. But y'all, it is so interesting how when you think about somebody, they randomly pop up. Girl, for an example, I don't know why, but I was thinking about my first crush. I forgot what I was, it's the reason why I was thinking about him, but because I was watching, I was watching something, and it's the reason why I was thinking about him. The only reason it's so crazy, literally after I was thinking about him, y'all, I kid you not, he sent me a request on Facebook. I was like, what in the... <laughs> What the frick? I just found that so crazy. But I y'all, when I think about like the I had the biggest crush on this boy, okay? And when I think about the crush I had on him, I'll be like, hey, okay, so anyways, so my first crush, girl, that was the that was my boot, okay? And it's so funny, like I said, I just randomly was thinking about him and then boom, he pops up. I mean, well. Somebody was telling a story about the Regine, Regine Carter on her YouTube channel. She was telling a story about her first crush or her first love or whatever. And I started thinking about him. Y'all, I kid you not. A few seconds, like a few hours later, dude popped up on my Instagram. I'm like, bro. Oh, let me find out, bro. Let me find out. Let me find out. The hell? Now, I know when you on google that happens but literally my thought like let me find out child but anyway so i just was weak and i'm not weak it's good to see him doing good y'all because he was in a bad place he was in a really he was in a really bad place like he had got um caught up on drugs and he tried to rob the like local corner store with the butter knife. That's how bad he got caught up on drugs. But I'm just happy to see he looks healthy. He looks like he's doing good. So I honestly just hope the guy he got his stuff together because I just was so I was so sad for him. What when, when I when I found out all of that stuff, but y'all. Let me clean up the house. Let me get this together. And then I'll pick the camera back up a little bit later. Nigga, be at that house. We're about to do tournament back yeah. here. Okay, I'm in the tournament. We already played two games each. Okay, I'll be back here. Bro, is he in the tournament, bro? I'm automatically in the tournament. He's in the tournament. Shut up. He's like, don't talk to me. Hey, hey. What's going on, JJ? Yeah. 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 And don't make fun of that rig. The bottom of my grill broke, honey. So I had to make it do what it do, boo. All right, who the jump? Who the Somebody do that jump
Jordy. <laughs> All of the Jordys in the world. Oh, I can watch. Oh, he praying. Hallelujah. 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 We feel the presence. We feel the presence, Jody. We feel the presence. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Jody. Let him use you, Jody. Y'all, I almost closed this blog out without speaking to y'all. I'm tired. I hope y'all enjoyed this week with me. I enjoyed this week with you guys. If you have not already, please hit the like button. And thank you for being here. I'm about to go to bed. Well, I'm about to watch the VMF, then I'm going to bed. Thank you guys so much, so much for being here. I know I'm not the only one that's spreading love. <laughs> we for going to bed. Y'all have a great week. I'll see y'all next week.